Hello, folks. So I'd like to talk about the podcast with Naomi Wolf and Jordan Peterson. Naomi Wolf went on Jordan Peterson's podcast. And, well, she's politically different and she has very different opinions from Jordan. Not the basic ones. Like, he, he does believe that women should be treated fairly, given equal opportunities. So there wasn't a lot of squabbling between them. I wish that he sort of argued with her a little bit because she said something that I, I feel is not fair. It's outright sexist, actually. And, you know, might as well make a video about it. Naomi said that the value of men has gone down because a single mother would have gone from completely screwed to being able to provide for her, her child with great difficulty. Why? Because she can rely on a nanny. And she can have infrastructure around her, like schools and, and, and security background checks to make sure that the child is being took care of by people who are safe so that she can go work and then provide for the kid. So it can be done with difficulty uh, rather than being pretty much impossible like it had been in, in the, all of human history, which is not not a very safe place, the world. So without someone watching your back. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't, maybe you could do it without a man, but you would need someone. And that's always been the way. Um, she said that the value of men have decreased because that uh, these women find men not necessary anymore. Definitely useful, but not necessary. And to that, I'd say that the nanny who's taking care of the child not, might not be male, but her handler and her employer might be, very likely could be. There's a, probably a man, if you keep going, climbing the ladder, there's a man on the top of it running something that's key to it. Another thing is the people doing the background checks is a team of people. Very often they could be male and there could be a number of men involved in making sure that your child is actually being took care of by someone who is safe. Schools are ran mostly by women, but the boards can be mostly men. And as they get older, they tend to be more men involved in their education. And if they're male, they probably should have more men in their lives because it would mean that they could develop properly and with a little bit more manners and respect. It's been shown that apparently, now I need to actually find a damn study, but apparently young men who are fatherless are more prone to go to prison. They're more prone for getting arrested for violent crimes and uh, I would say that in the Western world in this very particular way it would seem like the value of men has decreased but in reality it it hasn't what what do I mean well I can make a YouTube video talking about my opinions and share it to the entire world I could learn how to invest and become quite wealthy. I could make my own business. My opinions has my opinions, my feelings and my activities matter. I have never been able to do more things than right now. With the advent of technologies, I can now have more effect and be more valuable than anyone else before me. My grandfather could only ever be as valuable as he could get qualified and work but nowadays if i got good enough on investing i wouldn't even necessarily need to have qualifications what i'm trying to say is now anyone could become incredibly valuable doesn't matter who they are men and women's values actually increased i think because of the western world not decreased at all in the slightest what you could say, and I think that this is true, is that the single mother has exponentially increased in value. She went from a woman in a tough spot that, you know, may have to go for some second-rate guy just so she can provide for her family, to someone who doesn't need necessarily a romantic partner at all, and someone who can work whilst taking care of her children, making sure her child's safe. Her value has increased you know, tenfold, which is excellent, brilliant, but that doesn't mean at all that the value of men has decreased in the slightest. What an utterly sexist and stupid remark. So that's really, that's what got my goat. I think I managed to make the video less than five minutes. So thanks for watching.